welcome back to another day of vlogmas it's your girl as five fashion here with vlogmas day five today's video as you guys saw by the title will be an zara unboxing video we love those here on this channel you guys really do like those so i'm gonna try to keep them coming feel me i am going to be unboxing the item their pair of boots if you want to know what boots specifically you got to stay tuned for the video of course also i will be showing you guys a few different ways of how i style the boot and give you guys some recommendations on how you can style your boot so without further ado let's hop right into this video also, if you made it this far in the video, I'm going to need you to go ahead and press that big ol' subscribe button down below, as well as hitting that bell notification so you can get alerted every time I post. You guys know I am doing Vlogmas this year, and I'm dedicating to three days a week of Vlogmas, Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays, so make sure to subscribe, most importantly, and hit the bell notification, like I said before, so you can get alerted every time I post. So, without further ado, let's get into the video, guys. is the big box that these beautiful babies came in so quick story time i have been eyeing these boots i saw them when they first came out and i was like oh my goodness they look super super cute and i was like oh i'm, I'm probably um consider getting them so they were like 89 dollars and definitely was considering it because winter like black long boots i don't have too many of them like heel boots so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get um, some boots, but whatever the case may be. So then Black Friday rolled around and your girl was on the website looking at Zara had a few pieces that were like decent enough for me to consider buying. Cause I was like, I don't wanna shop, I'm gonna shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of that. So I saw the boots and I was like, oh my goodness, they're on sale for $53. So I had to get them. So, all that rambling, let me open the box. <laughs> so, here is this beautiful baby. Oh, look at her. Look at this heel, guys. So, this heel is giving illusion. It's giving, it's giving the umph that you need. So, from the side, it looks like a nice pencil heel. But when you look to the back, you see it's thicker. It's like a, it's giving a cylinder heel effect. So it's not too much of a chunky heel, but not a super skinny stiletto heel. And that is what your girl loves. Because I do not, I repeat, I do not like wearing heels. I love the look of a heel. It gives you a more sexy feel to your outfit. But when I say my feet be hurting, my feet be hurting. So, anyways, this is the boot, and don't mind my nails, like, I need to go get my nails done. So, like, one of my hands is, like, missing all my nails, <laughs> and then the other hand has a few. So, if you see that, mind your business, feel me? So, these are the boot. I love them. Super cute. Try them on. Great. So, first things first, let's talk about pricing. So, as I stated before, they retail for $89. So, this guy actually still has a tag on it. So I can show it to you here. They retail for 80. Oop. And like I told you, I got them on sale during Black Friday. So I got them for about like what 50, like 53, 55 dollars. And then after tax, it came up to like what 60 dollars and shipping and everything, like 65. And that's still better than 89. Um and that is the pricing that I pay for it and I feel like that lower price point is definitely what the boot should be retail as an everyday price and I'm going to tell you why in a few but um that is the price for these lovely babies all right so these are the heeled high knee boot that's literally what they're called on Zara and like I showed you guys the beautiful heel and then it's like a square toe it has a square toe box and I'm here for that because I have wide feet so it definitely is easier on my foot versus a normal pointy um, toe box so these guys have a zipper so it's easy to put in, put your feet in, 
first is just pulling the boot up because I have a pair of boots like that and I tell you it's like it's like hell to get those boots on so this is very convenient you can just push your foot in zip it on up all right getting into the next important detail so these boots um they're not wide they're not big calf friendly so for my girls with the bigger calves they're not big calf friendly um i have a thicker calf my calf is not huge but definitely thicker and when i say i had to like pull and tug and pull and tug to get these zip the zipper up on a certain like this area of my calf like this part went up seamlessly but then this guy in this area child i refuse <laughs> to not make them fit so i literally was just like okay i gotta go i gotta i gotta try um, if they didn't work out, obviously I would have to return them, but just giving you guys a heads up right now, they're not wide calf friendly. So I highly recommend if you could go into store and try these guys on to do it. Otherwise, ordering it, I would do, I would order your normal size and a size up if you can. Um, Zara, typically they don't do half sizes. I don't think they ever did a half size. And... I'm normally a nine and a half. I got a 10 in these boots, a size 41. And the shoe itself, the boot itself fit good because they are like a faux leather boot. And once you start wearing them, they're going to stretch out a little bit. So I don't recommend getting too big of a size if you don't need to. But for your calf sake, it may help getting a larger size to fit your calf but I'm not 100% certain. So that is my recommendation to you. If you're going to get these boots, you might have to size up or highly, highly, highly recommend you try them in store. So I also said about these boots that I wish they were the everyday price point was the Black Friday sale price point, that $53 price point, just because honestly, they are a nice boot but I don't believe that they're real leather, one. Two, the zipper, when I got on the, uh, not this side, but on this side, when I first put these on, I had like a little, the socks was not as thick as I like, I didn't think the socks were that thick, but apparently they were, because when I tried to zip it right here, the zipper kind of like, open and I had to like I thought my foot got stuck in the freaking boot I thought I was literally gonna cry because one it was hurting my foot I couldn't get the, the zipper down and two I thought I ruined the boot and I was <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna be able to wear it I was literally about to cry my sister had to help me zip it down and get it down and then take them off but with all that being said the zipper is just faulty on the damn boot because when I zipped it down and then zipped it back up, obviously the boot is fine right now. So be cautious of what you wear this with because if anything gets stuck in the zipper, it might be over for the boot. So next on this, the next thing about these boots, they have a good thing that they have is like, they have like support at the bottom of the boot which is super super important it has like this i don't even know what this is called but this is great so that you would not slide like it it helps prevent you from sliding and normally a lot of boots would just have this smooth surface which is all cute and nice but this grip i feel like it's a kind of grip on the toe box area and like over here as well as the actual heel this is super helpful and helps give comfort at least for me when walking around in these boots so i highly 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 recommend the boots for that advantage so that is it on the actual boot let's talk about how we can style the boot So let's talk about a few different ways on how you could style the boot, how I style the boot, and 
just easy simple ways that you could do and without breaking the thing you feel me so this first outfit that i had i wore it with this asymmetrical sleeve dress sweater dress that i got from nasty gal and I paired it with my teddy coat that I got for Christmas. I believe that's from H&M. And lastly, paired it with my bag from iSpyFashion.com. It's the Bianca bag and she is on sale. So if you want to get her, click that link down below in the description box. And yeah, head over to iSpyFashion.com. Anyways, so... I paired her, it very simple, a, a knit bodycon dress with the boot, it gives it a lot more elevation. The teddy coat still cashes it down but still gives you that high-low look. And I added a Yankee cap because ugh, I've just been obsessed with my Yankee dad hat. And it's super comfortable, easy to throw on and just make the outfit really like high-low. That's a look that I typically go for. And then I paired it with some sunglasses that are also from I Spy Fashion. Unfortunately, these sunglasses are sold out and we will not be restocking them. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But the whole look, giving very high low, giving very street chic and super easy to accomplish. A knit dress, a teddy coat or a long coat, the boots, a hat, some sunglasses and you're good to go. So that is look one. Now, look two, I wanted to go a little more edgy and I paired it, the boots, with a oversized button-down shirt dress. So it's like a regular white shirt dress. And then I paired it with a belt. So this belt, I get so many compliments and questions about this belt. I wish I could give you the answers, guys, but this belt was gifted to me by my uncle and he bought it he said from a small boutique and he can't even remember what the boutique's name is <laughs> so i'm sorry i'm so sorry so the belt it's usually typically meant to wear in a front motion so you can see the like the belt buckle and then the back is like a train like a long big elevated leather train however i like to twist it to the side or wear it in the front half in order to give that elevation in the front of my outfit so I paired it and twisted it to the side and then added a black beret and the black beret was also from iSpyFashion.com and we no longer have berets anymore if you want me to bring back berets I'll be happy to do so just drop it down in the comments so that is the total look it's giving a little more edge i feel like this is a great outfit if you're going out with your friends for a drink if it the boots are really comfortable once you put them on properly they get past your calf they're super comfortable so, so next outfit that i paired these with is i did a pair of cargos and there are some green cargos i believe i got them at ross with I took that same belt <laughs> and I put it at the top um used it as a top so I basically buckled it in the back and used it as a top so it gave me that long elevated look in the front the boots and I added a leather jacket and put through on a yellow scully now this look I feel like is super super street chic and I feel like this is a great look if you're just heading into the city you want to be cute and it's cool like a cooler day um obviously the leather jacket it's not going to keep you as warm in these kind of winter months here in new york but when it's <laughs> for a fall day and the type of weather we've been having some days is super warm some days are really cold i definitely feel like this is a great look to just walk around in the city or if you're going to run errands and you want to be cute because I'm telling you the boots are comfortable they're not as bad and yeah if you really just want to give a real elevated street chic look this is the look for you oh and lastly the hat is from H&M it's just a regular yellow scully from H&M I got it a while back so yeah that is look number three all right guys those were three different ways that I styled my fit, my boots. There are so many other ways that you could style your boot. Comment down below. Um, 
if you have any recommendations i would love to hear them on how you would style it comment down below if you bought the pair of boots and what you think about them i would love to hear thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next day of vlogmas